want to get to the markets because you and look on the left hand side of your screen there's plenty of red ink right there look at the dow down about three quarters of one percent down 250 points or thereabouts david barnson joins us now david is it possible this the market today is rattled by this enormous spending and these huge projected tax increases and all this government printing that fed print is the market a little skittish about what it sees down the road I love that, Stuart. So the, the market goes up 6,000 points after all of the spending begins, and then we have a 200-point down day, and maybe today's the day okay, the market okay, is okay, responding. Okay. You're making you, fun you, of me. <laughs> Bonson, you're making fun of me. I'm not making fun are, of you. Ahead, I actually, Stuart... <laughs> Whenever I make fun of you, it's in love, my friend. The reality is that we know where things stand. There's a lot of uncertainty into the future. I happen to personally be more focused on the monetary policy side than even the fiscal, because I think we're living in totally unprecedented times with the uh, interventions of our central bank, uh, new tax ideas, new spending ideas. This it has been going on for decades. The difference is now there's more zeros and commas involved but uh, it is certainly not new this week. And, and the reality is, I think a lot of the tax policy that uh, President Biden presented the other night is never going to see light of day. OK, we always bring you on because you have great plays for dividends. You, are, you like stocks, companies where the dividend is strong and growing. You brought us two today on the screen right now. First off, Chevron. Am I right in saying that Chevron at $103 a share shows, what, a 5% five, 5 dividend, something like that? It, it shows a little bit over a 5% dividend. And guess what happened 48 hours ago? They raised the dividend, about 4% increase. So coming off of the worst year for the oil industry in forever, with all of the talk last year about big oil is done, uh, they're going to cut the dividend, all of these things. Chevron comes out and grows the dividend, comes out this morning and announces over $30 billion of quarterly revenue and over a billion dollars of quarterly profit. Incredible capital discipline from Chevron throughout the whole COVID crisis. Uh, they protected their cash flow. They have a strong balance sheet and they are growing the dividend. And those who held on to Chevron through this difficult period are now up about 70 percent from its low levels. OK, we'll bear that in mind. I'm sorry I don't have time to go into UMI, a pipeline company, which yields more than 7 percent. I'm sorry I don't have time for it, David. Next time, come and explain it all. David Barnson, good man. Thanks very much, David. See you again soon. All right.